Greetings gang, John Stamus here, the Renaissance Garden Guy, Hardiness Zone 5B6A. Uh, today is going to be a short video, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you um, to do some, uh, some soil acidification. <clears throat> I've got plants like rhododendrons, uh, azaleas, pyrus, and uh, hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas particularly, that benefit from an acidic soil. My soil here, which, long story, but I imported a whole bunch of it when I first built this garden. It tends to run slightly acidic, but because I've got a sand substrate underneath the soil, some of that acidity tends to get washed away and the soil kind of wants to drift back into this almost neutral territory. So <clears throat> what I typically do uh, for specific areas and specific plants is, uh, is acidify the soil. Adding a sulfur-based product, uh, organic product by Espoma, works fabulously. Uh, so it's probably a little early to be doing it, but the weather's unseasonably warm here. It's uh, early February, I think February 8th today, uh, here in zone 6A5B. Uh, so it's a little warmer than it <laughs> normally is. So it's uh, we're going to get some rain tomorrow. It's a good time to throw some acid product around the roots of these of, of these plants that will benefit from it. Um, it'll do it again in, in the spring, probably uh, right around the 1st of April or, or late March, and uh, these plants will really benefit from it. I'll show you what I do, I'll show you how I do it. It's super simple, and we'll get to it in just a bit. Okay gang, so this is the stuff That's what I use to acidify my soil. It's, um, it's, it's by Espoma, totally organic, and it, it what it'll do is bring the pH level of soil um, down substantially. Um, I wrote a couple of articles on my site about doing that. You can buy this stuff on my site, particularly if you go to um, how to fix yellow rhododendrons and azaleas and pyrus and how to, lo how to lower soil pH. Uh, those two articles will have links so you can buy this stuff. But I love it because it... Um, it's all mixed up for you. I mean, you can come up with your own concoctions. I'm, I'm not into any of that. Uh, there are people that, that, that do, um, and they do it successfully, not me. Stuff's already made up. When you handle it, use gloves because there's sulfur in it. It's stinky, and uh, sulfur is the uh, active ingredient that lowers the soil pH, acidifies the soil. The lower the pH, the more acid the soil. There's my little um, azalea karen. You can see I've moved a lot of the fallen, fallen leaves and mulch away from the base of the plant. And all I'm going to do, um, if you're doing this for the first time, follow Espoma's, uh, follow their instructions directly. I take a little bit of liberty with that. Um, I typically, um, I'm adding this stuff a little bit earlier than usual because the weather is substantially warmer than it normally is. And I'm going to add a little bit more than what Espoma recommends. Some of these plants are big and they're really well established, so it's not going to hurt anything. But it basically, it's two cups of this stuff, 16 ounces, for an established plant. I'm going to go a little bit more. Again, follow Espoma's directions. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because I've experimented and I, I, know, I know it works for these guys. But again, they're established. When they were new plants, I did not waver from Espoma's directions. So this is real simple. I got a, I've got an 8 ounce cup here, and I am going to pour this stuff into the 8 ounce cup. Give me a sec while I do it. Okay, here's 8 ounces right here. Um, you, can, you can rake this stuff in with your fingers. I typically do that, move all that mulch away so, so this stuff will, uh, will work itself into the soil. Um, and you see what I'm doing here all the way around and what that does it allows plants particularly evergreens but azaleas fall into that category too what what what, is, what acidic soil does is it allows these plants to absorb nutrients from the soil particularly iron which is really important because iron is what keeps a plant from getting chlorotic in other words, yellowing leaves, uh, you can see the yellowing in the veins and it spreads out to the actual margins of the leaf. And what th that's often a, a, a symptom of an iron deficiency. And an iron deficiency arises a lot of times, especially with like rhodes and, uh, and um, azalea, pyrus, 
it, it arises because the soil is the soil's not acidified enough. It's not acid enough for the plant to effectively derive the nutrients from it, particularly that iron. So we're going to go ahead and acidify this soil. You can see how this stuff, it's granules. You can see it's, it's very effective, and it's going to rain like crazy tonight. That's a, it, 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 it's typically you, you water this stuff in really good when you're done, but because um, it's going to rain heavily tonight, I'm just, uh, I'm not going to worry about doing that. So this stuff will get in there. It'll work its way into the soil. It'll acidify the soil for this azalea. And <clears throat> probably at the very end of March, right now it's February 8th, uh, Espoma recommends 60-day uh, intervals for applying this stuff. I'm going to do it a little bit earlier. Like I said, this plant is established, and uh, it'll, it'll benefit from that, from that acid. But I'm going to say it once again. Uh, follow all the directions on any products you buy, particularly... Uh, something that's uh, that's got sulfur in it you're going to want to follow those directions uh, for your own safety and the safety of the plants so that's about it i'll work this stuff in here with my fingers and into the top layer of soil and water it in real good and this plant will be good to go uh, and come early spring i'm going to hit it again and then we'll go ahead and fertilize it with uh, with a spoma's holly tone which does some further acidifying and uh, i also use a uh, a really particularly awesome liquid uh it's a liquid seaweed it's a it's a it's a, and it's got lots of iron in it and it's a great uptake it's a root drench and a foliage drench and uh, you can read about that like i said in my article how to fix yellow rhododendrons azaleas and pyrus and also how to low, how to lower soil ph for acid loving plants check those articles out on the renaissance garden guy renaissancegardenguy.com so it is john over and out hoping you're digging the scenery here of my little azalea uh, all that stuff is going to get washed into the soil, and this baby's going to look great in the springtime. I'll show you some vids and some pictures. So, John G. Stamus, over and out.